So we continue our endeavor to get you biggest voices uh, as far as you know the COVID-19 situation in, in India is concerned. And uh, today we're being joined by eminent professor Shamika Ravi. She is uh, well-renowned in her field. You must have all heard about her. She's been doing some exemplary research on the COVID-19 situation in India. Thanks very much, professor, for taking time out. I, I want to first begin by asking you, professor, uh, what's the current, how do you read the current situation? Uh, India has already crossed the four lakh mark. Uh, how, where are we today at the moment when you compare us to other countries in Asia as well as Europe, which reported high number of cases in the initial few days? I would say that uh, clearly while we have uh, flattened the curve, if you consider the delaying in the peak, which is uh, the basic objective behind large national policies, stringent policies of the nature of lockdowns. And we have been now, you know, we've had four consecutive rounds of lockdowns. Uh, and naturally, as is expected, uh, over the last uh, months, we have seen that the growth rate of the total number of cases uh, have been declining. So overall, while the growth has been declining, we have not yet peaked which means that with every consecutive lockdown, and of course we've had violations, but that apart, every consecutive lockdown, uh, the nature of stringency has only reduced. So, and as is expected and as should be uh, in a large federal country like ours, uh, a lot more essential items, a lot more movement has happened. And so over time you're seeing that the numbers have been increasing and uh, now the infection has spread, I think, to almost all states of the country. Uh, but despite that, uh, I think what remains a cause of concern truly is the fact that almost uh, two third to 70 percent of the new cases are still coming from the big hotspots of uh, Maharashtra, Delhi and Tamil Nadu, which seems to suggest that while the overall infection has spread, our biggest causes of concern still remain the three hotspots. And I think uh, that is why in, in some sense you can say that while the infection still is very much concentrated in the three hotspots, uh, somewhere we also need to do a lot more within these three places to bring the overall infection uh, to a control. Uh, but overall, of course, the number, uh, the growth has been slowing. Uh, some states have done remarkably well, some states are still struggling. Uh, and as should be expected for a country the size of a continent, so we are really talking about a, all, you know, sort of a European experience all put into one. We have our own Italy's, we have our own Germany's, uh, and uh, that's the right sort of spirit and, and the right way to look at the data. Uh, 